Good day. Good day, mate. Hey, Jackie, this yes, is very exciting. Your it dad's is. coming up in a documentary. I know. He's being filmed by an Australian TV crew uh, for a retrospective, is it, on the history? Kind of yeah. Detroit, Detroit, Motown, kind Detroit, of stuff, yeah. the cars, the industry, radio, everything. Yep. And they're coming here all the way to Ferndale from Australia, and they're about to do that. And you're about to get a behind-the-scenes look. Yes, it's their kind of PBS version. They're the public broadcasting system down in Australia. And they were fascinated by the fact that the water in our toilets goes the opposite way. It's amazing. It does? Yes, it does. Oh. Just tell us a bit about what you were doing at, at that time. Well, when I got to town in 1965 uh, from Cincinnati, and uh, I was thrilled to be here because this was a real happening town. And one of the reasons it was happening was, I think, two reasons probably. Well, but more than that, the auto industry was, was thriving. People were thriving here big time. But Motown was, uh, was booming. And uh, by 65, I think they were really into it. I'm not sure exactly when the start of Motown really took off, but uh, they were certainly into it. I remember going to, um, I had a record hop one time, and uh, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell were there. And they were doing their great song, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Uh, working free of charge, believe it or not. And uh, I recall going to uh, a nightclub uh, here one night. They used to, you know, used to call them nightclubs. And uh, the Supremes were there. And they had just popped in to do uh, a couple of tunes. I don't know if that was to promote themselves. I guess it was. Mary Barry Gordy, uh, you know, had them out on the road. And it was just uh, so we all, you know, high afterward and had uh, some drinks in the bar area together and so forth. So uh, it, was, it was kind of exciting. How much was the car industry a part of the energy and the vibe in Detroit at that time? Well, in uh, in a in a big way, the music and the and cars went together, and I think even today, oldies, Motown music included, therefore, and summer, and and convertibles and windows down go together. There's something about that music that just fits with with cars and automobiles and classic cars now which we didn't know were so classic then, but they are now. Uh, so there's a synergy between Motown music and, and the automobile industry. Uh, there, certainly there have been in this town, and I, I would imagine around the country. It's probably fair to say that almost everyone in this city has some connection or knows someone connected to, to the auto industry. Yeah. So is there a, a sort of a sentimental feeling about the, the industry being on its knees? Is there a kind of an yeah. emotional thing going on? And I'll tell you, we can see that uh, besides really every day in the newspapers, uh, you know, most of our newspapers are on the Internet now, not not being home delivered. And that's taking place around the country, too, and maybe around the world. But you can see that at our Woodward Dream Cruise uh, that we have every August. And we are the uh, kind of the official tie in radio station because of our format with that. And uh, I think that people are seeing these cars and they realize what a great day it was back in the 50s and 60s, 70s. Well, even into the 80s. And uh, consequently, um, we get more nostalgic now when we see those great cars back then on the highway and we're reliving yesterday and uh, things were great then but ain't so great today.